We don't care about NDA here. Um, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> Hello my loves, I'm your host Zach and welcome back to another episode of Pop Off with Metro, the chat show where we talk to the queens of RuPaul's Drag Race UK versus the world season two. And joining me in the studio today, we've got nothing but double trouble for you guys. It's the icon, diva, superstar, princess of the Philippines herself, Marina <laughs> Summers is in the house. I and... forgot the superstar. <laughs> <laughs> Not only that, but the self-proclaimed French fashion runway terminator, La Grand yeah. Dame is here, everybody. Woo! <laughs> Let's go. Hi, guys. How are we both doing today? Great. How are you? I'm doing amazing. I mean, congratulations. Hello, we're at the finale. Yeah, it's a fun day for Woo! sure. Big announcement. It's a few hours before the finale. I feel great. I am in New York now. Um, so that explains the sweater. <laughs> You're in New York right now. Yes. <laughs> oh, Traveling the world, God. mama, taking it over. Of <laughs> course, overseas. Are you going to like a New York viewing party tonight? Yes, actually, I'm doing a viewing party with World of Wonder tonight. Um, yeah. yeah. Amazing. I mean, guys, congratulations on making it to the finale. Before we get started, this is super random. But Marina, I'm actually wearing this necklace today. My friend is Filipino. Her name is Kaina. Hi, Kaina. And she bought it back for me from her homeland. It's made up of rocks from the Philippines. Rocks. Yeah, probably from the beach. That's right. And I'm wearing it in your honor today. So oh, thank you. Thank you. I feel the dead. Grand Dame, the Grand Dame, unfortunately, I don't have any French jewelry, but I did have a delicious almond croissant for breakfast this morning. Okay. <laughs> what I say, I'm wearing the bitch on my neck. I'm, I'm in Marina. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, can I just say before we get any further, it has been such a journey watching you both on screen. You. And, you know, I just wanted to point out as well, that from a fan's perspective, I'm like a Drag Race super fan. I've seen all the seasons. It has been a pretty damn good season, hasn't it? Have you guys enjoyed watching it back? Yes, well. indeed. I, I started to do like some viewing parties with friends at first. Yeah. Uh, then I wanted to do some things in, in London too. So I mixed it up. I had a very different experience than watching it for friends. For friends, I was the big organizer in Paris at the dream party. So it was, it was very public. This time I really wanted to enjoy it uh, in, in close circles. And I did that. So I, I'm so glad about it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm so excited about this season. Uh, this season has been really easy to watch, honestly. Um, and not just because the girls are, you know, good. Um, it's because... It's, it's fun to see a very diverse cast, like a lot of queens from different franchises yeah. that we haven't seen before. And I feel like it's just a testament that if you bring in more international girls into these versus the world season, or like this all-star seasons, you're gonna get every single thing that you can imagine. I mean, talking about how diverse it is, you guys have made Drag Race her street over here. We have one cream from each separate international franchise in the finale. How iconic is that? Yeah. That is iconic. It's like Miss Universe top four right there. <laughs> <laughs> that type it, is, of it is the strength of the, the entire season and this franchise uh, was actually bringing everybody and we just can't wait to get to travel the world with the ladies. I want to go, I want to see us go visit uh, our little anaconda down under. I want us to. Yes. For it, so, yeah. I spoke to Hannah yesterday and I said, So, does that mean you're going to move to the UK now? And she was like, Absolutely, yes. And I was like, yeah. I see. yeah, and her partner is based there. Uh, uh, it's from there, right? In yes. Yeah, so I think her partner is in Newcastle. 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 And she yes. told me that when she got the call, which was my next question actually for you guys, when she got the call for UK versus the world, she was in Newcastle at the time. So she was like, it's fate. I'm in the UK right now. And I get the call to be on UK versus the world season two. Um, incredible. Like with you guys, I want to take it back to the very beginning. So when you first found out you were even going on the show, were you nervous? Were you scared? Were you excited? Did you see yourselves even making it to the finale? How are you feeling in retrospect? Should I go? Yeah, yeah go for it. <laughs> um, I would say nervous wasn't the term. I just wanted to, if I, if I do things, I'll do them well. And uh, seeing myself in the final, that's, that's what I do. Um, I wouldn't go in a season if I knew 
uh, there was some reason I, I couldn't get to the very end. Um, so no decision was quite easy to make. I was in New York visiting uh, Nikki when I got the call. And um, so I had a talk with my few friends and, and, and Nikki was part of them. Um, she expressed some uh, worries I should have. And I kindly told her that those worries weren't my worries. <laughs> you know, <laughs> just like, uh, did you good did to RuPaul about Snatch Game? <laughs> I was like, I understand you. <laughs> <laughs> those concerns aren't mine. Um, so we went there and, uh, and I'm glad I did. Yes, we don't care about NDA here. Um, <laughs> by the way, the first, thing, the first thing we do is tell a sister that we got on the show. <laughs> Hello. So, you, guys, um, you guys come on the show like, oh my God, you're here too. And it's oh like, you, God. Like and then these you already girls, have a group chat made. <laughs> um, uh, for me, I think what, what, what fans don't know is that, you know, we get a series of like, a few days, a few weeks before we finally get casted. Um, so when they were interested in casting me, because um, you know the time difference, it was I think two days or three days that they've been trying to chase me to ah. just fall. Uh, uh, just because you know I'm very busy, I'm very famous hey. in the Philippines. Well, my my, <laughs> my message. When she has a Nokia phone. <laughs> and I have it, yes. Oh, you do? Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> um, um, and then one time I woke up at 5 a.m. in the morning because I have a gig at 7 a.m. <laughs> um, okay. And then my phone started ringing. It was an international number. And I was like, oh, my God, what is this? And then I oh. took it. And then they asked me if I was interested to come back again. I was like, baby, put me on the yes list. <laughs> put me Thanks on the top of the yes list. I am ready. I have never been out of the competition mode and I'm just ready to make another season. But when I got the confirmation, um, it was just like the universe telling me that it was meant for me because um, I was with Pangina. What? Much like Lagrange, she was with Nikki Doll. I was with yeah. Pangina that night. What is happening? The universe, is what is going on? Yeah, she was in the Philippines when I got uh, the the confirmation that, you know, Marina, you're casted. I was there. I was partying. I was <laughs> watching her on stage. I was like, what is this? I was crying. This is you in a few months. That's what it was. <laughs> yes. No, I need to start hanging around with these queens so that I get some, like, amazing energy. <laughs> some opportunities. <laughs> really, this is the right there of all. Like, the magic happens. <laughs> <I know. laughs> <laughs> and like looking back at the competition, I mean, Marina, you came into the finale with three maxi challenge wins for the talent show, the Rusical, the choreo, the Grand Dame, you came in with one maxi challenge win for the ball, all of your looks. So iconic. I want to talk about more about that later. And you were in the top two times. What were the challenges that you both enjoyed the most? Um, oh. I'd say for the... The fun of it definitely the ball, but I would say the talent show was great. Um, it was it was a great way to meet the artists we were around. Um, we had fun on the dancing challenges, even though that that wasn't my strong suit. But we had so much fun rehearsing for the the duos and all of that. So um, yeah, I would say all the ones we had to somehow work with each other. Yeah. 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 yeah, the talent show was also my favorite because, um, you know, just like what uh, Dada said, it is the first time that RuPaul is going to see us. So I have to make sure that, you know, we are there to make a statement and to let ourselves be known. Um, and basically just like all the performance challenges. I love me some performance challenges. Like I think both uh, Dada and I solidified our claim to our drag like when it comes to me, it was performing and Dada, it's like the, all, all the fashion. I think we were both able to solidify um, our to that role. Yeah. And I think after the talent show, the Rusical and the dance um, uh, challenge just, you know, made it solid for me. Yeah. But yeah, definitely the talent show. It was but a hit. What was the take out of this is that knowing who you are, as a performer and as a human being is always uh, rewarded. And um, when you know yourself, you there's no limit really. And it translated through our TV screens perfectly. I mean, you know, Le Grand Dame actually, there is something I just have to say. 
You your go, girl. Branding, your branding advert challenge where you pretended to be Jean Paul Gaultier and Carla yeah. Field, and you were smoking <laughs> like this, doing person who got Lagerfeld. The humor in that video, I got it. All my friends got it. Kim Petrus got it. The only people that didn't get it were the judges. And I'm sorry for that, but I had to get that off my chest. I found it Thank hilarious. You. But I have to say a big part of why it didn't make sense for a lot of people is that my my concept wasn't clear and I think we lost some of the explanations in the edit. Uh, I'm not going to blame it on the edit. On the edit girl. That my attraction was a way to meet people through bad actors. And so I, I did a Spanish job of Gautier just because it, it was pathetic, but <laughs> it was the goal. So if you got it, it means you got it. But um, this yeah. is like just some crazy, stupid information that is so useless. But I watched that episode three times because I got sent the screener. So I watched it for the screener and then I watched the screener again and then I watched it live. And I honestly found your advert in that entire episode, my highlight oh. of the episode. I was watching, waiting just for it to start and I completely understood it. And yeah, I had to get it off my chest. Marina, unfortunately, I don't have a similar experience to share with you because you slayed all your challenges and the judges ate I was like, because you're not that funny. I, I so you're too. not that funny, Marina. <laughs> <laughs> you need that. <laughs> I mean, rightfully so, the judges ate everything up and we did too. Um, you know, actually on that, Marina, I spoke to Scarlet Envy just last week. Yes, I the saw show. the video, I saw the video. Did you see it? Oh, amazing. Yeah. I mean, anyone watching, if you haven't seen it, link in the description below. But yeah. she confessed on the show that um, even though you were the queen to send her packing, she is still hashtag Team Marina and you are her favorite to win. How does it feel knowing that even your competitors, even the competitors that you sent home are rooting for you? Um, it, 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 it feels amazing um, to, you know, for the fans to root for you, but it's a different feeling. It's <laughs> another level. Um, when your your fellow call it the fan now. For the yeah. fans no. What, what, no, 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 no. He's your biggest fan. I can't wait to meet you. Oh, yes. uh, what I'm trying to say is that when fans root for you, it's amazing. But when your fellow drag queens gives uh, you the support, it's a different level. A different and level. I feel that way for my, my sisters, especially on the same season, who's been, you know, supporting me throughout, you know, this journey. And while we're filming, it just, it's it's a different feeling. Um, especially when RuPaul said you were born to do drag and everything like. Oh my God, yes. Girls are just like, girl, I think you're winning this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, okay, well, let's get past through the comedy challenges first. <laughs> get past the roast first. Yes. Iconic, so iconic. Le Grand Dame, I could not conduct this interview without specifically mentioning your, run your runways, which had the entire fandom in a chokehold. Your she Queen runway, your Reveal Yourself runway, your Wedding Dress runway, all so groundbreaking, the groundbreaking. The fans loved it so much. What nice. I was, which one is your favorite? Which one did you feel most powerful in? Um, at the top of my head, it would be the, the last one, the, the bride one, the nuclear bri bride. Um, because it, it, it represents what I do quite nicely in the way that um, I love to highlight young designers and um, and yeah, and, and be in the, in the creation process um, a lot. Did you um, create that one? No, but I was with, with the Windows N and we, we thought of the look. I, I love the fact that it's a complete look and from the headpiece and yeah. So um, I really, really enjoyed this one. And again, the Jean-Paul Gaultier, was such a nod to my my life before Drag Race and, and what I do for a living. Um, so yeah, it's hard to pick a favorite, but I, I'm, I'm really proud of the Bride one, yeah. Amazing, the Bride one is also one of my personal yeah, one of my favorites. Favorites. <laughs> You know, I spoke to Tia and Honey yesterday, as you guys know, and Tia did mention the little romance we saw on screen, and she did confirm that no canoodling has happened between you pair since the show finished airing. The viewers need to know, the drag race assistic pages need to know, can you confirm or deny? That's gonna be a very tall baby, first of all. <laughs> the plane tickets are gonna be expensive. Um, <laughs> no, you know, I, I just said earlier that some romances are made for, uh, for people to enjoy. And um, if you wanna for see more of yeah, Diana, you'll have to reunite us because we keep it private otherwise. Gorgeous, gorgeous, yeah. <laughs> well guys, we're coming to, towards the end of our interview. 
Um, with every pop-off guest, we always love to play a little game we like to call mm -hmm. word association. So the rules are super simple. I say a word and you just say the first word that pops into your head. You're going to be competing against each other and your other castmates. Marina will go with you first and then the grand dam will do you afterwards. 60 seconds each. The only okay. rule is the grand dam, you cannot repeat any word that Marina says. But if okay. you do, I'm not going to hold you accountable because I probably won't remember. <laughs> right. Do you want to log off? <laughs> yeah, you need to stay and watch. This is this is your moment too. Oh my god! <laughs> any, any any reactions and laughs and giggles would also be greatly appreciated. <laughs> okay, Can I say bad start. words? Sorry? Can I say bad words? You can. <laughs> I may have to bleep them because I'll get demonetized. But go for it. <laughs> See how far we can get. We'll test okay. It. Okay, I'm gonna start a clock. So remember, Marina, you first. Sixty seconds, and then the grand dam will do you. Mm -hmm. All right. Do me. Hook, and then I'll say the first word. Are you ready, Marina? Let's do it. Three, two, one, and go. Maker. Beauty. Occupation. Drag queen. RuPaul. Money. Busted. <laughs> Sorry. Busted. Sorry, what? Busted. Busted. Oh, um, mm, mm, Lagrand. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say. <laughs> Appendix. Appendix. Um, stomach. Stimulation. Stimulation. Oh, this is harder and harder. It's the English language. Stimulation. <laughs> um, uh, what? <laughs> Sorry. Lips. I don't know. <laughs> Wilderness. Sorry, what? Wilderness. Fabulous. <laughs> and time is up. Marina, you that was terrible. <laughs> that was terrible, Mama. That was the worst. That was the worst my first language. You know, hey, listen. We could have gone for dog, can't. cat, for apple, for beach. You can't be beauty and brains. Mama, I already have three badges that the other girls win. <laughs> <laughs> Marina Summers, I'm happy to tell you that you scored seven points. Woo! Seven out of Hannah Con scored 15. So the grand dam, we're going to go with, with you next. You got 15 to beat, OK? okay and if yeah. not, Hannah's That's going to cool. You're okay, on my Le grand dam, you ready? What? Three, two, one, go. Makeup. Hair. O occupation. Drag. RuPaul. Mother. Busted. Marina. <laughs> Appendix. <laughs> uh, leg. Stimulation. Um, vulva. <laughs> Wilderness. Sorry? Wilderness. Um, nurse. Theft. Theft? Yes, theft. Uh, jewelry. Surgery. Boobs. Clearance. Um, winning. Beard. Uh, Berta. Horror. Uh, Marina. <laughs> no. <laughs> Ana anachronism. Uh, LGD. Bum fuzzle. Whatever that is, dog. <laughs> <laughs> and we're out of time. <laughs> what? Whatever what? that is, dog. Word. Do you use that on a daily basis, yeah. Zach? I've never used that word in my life. I went on random word generator. <laughs> Thank you. Slash random word generate, and that was okay. Good. So we are not the problem here. Okay. Grand <laughs> <laughs> <Okay. laughs> let me just count your score. I'm a one one woman band over here. One two. Whoa. What is it? Did I win? Brandam, I am semi pleased to announce that you scored 14 points! Oh, oh no. And Hannah, oh, yeah. Hannah's come out on top, I'm afraid. The Down Under Queen has come she out. She has this big mouth that moves so fast. You was very <laughs> quick. <laughs> Great. Okay, guys, listen, thank you so much for thinking with me both. This has been so much fun. Please Thanks. tell the quality people watching at home where we can find you, what you have coming up outside of Drag Race. Marina, you go. 
Oh yeah, uh, you can find my schedule for my New York tour here on Marina X Summers. I will also be joining um, the UK versus the World 2 cast tour on April to May with my lovely sisters. Um, all of the 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 dealers are at Voss events, and I will also be having my solo tour after that in the UK. Um, you can visit my social media accounts for that. See you there, baby. Amazing. Uh, same here. I will be on tour uh, with the UK team from the 25th of April to till the 5th of May. Then I'll go on tour this summer probably with Nikki Doll around the US. So keep staying tuned Bye. for that. My second single from my album Dada is coming out next Ooh. week. That's the 5th of April. Uh, the album is coming out by the end of spring. And I'll go on tour in France with my music. Maybe I'll drop a little, I'll drop the drag for a minute um, because people are rooting for the music here. So I'll go on tour by September in France. Really excited. Thank you guys so much. Thank you guys for watching at home. Be sure to head over to our chat with, chat with Tia Coffee and Hannah Connor so you do not miss a thing. Pop off, we'll be back, so subscribe. Marina Summers and the Grand Dame, can you please tell the subscribers, the viewers to subscribe? We've got to keep the lights on around here. <laughs> Baby, subscribe now or else we're going to stop doing drag. Work. Marina, <laughs> buy <laughs> new sweaters. All right? <laughs> yes, I will. Subscribe now button. so I will buy new sweaters. <laughs> click that button and I'll click yours. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Really quick right. before we hang up, could I please just get you guys to pull some crazy expressions at the camera for a thumbnail, for the YouTube thumbnail? Okay. Just like, <gasps> I'll do it with you. <laughs> nice. nice. <laughs>